Ask any parent, once you have a baby, the bottle becomes a mainstay in your home. They'll eventually be everywhere, but could that same bottle be deadly? Rule number one if you have a baby, keep your eyes open at all times. On Facebook, one mom posted a video warning of what seemed like a harmless baby bottle lid. In the video, the infant's father describes how their son had gone from harmless teething to something much more dangerous. Here, he shows his son was simply biting the bottle at first, but after a while, the lid landed on his mouth and nose. Thankfully, the man's son was only briefly suffocating before he was able to pull the bottle off his face. But the whole ordeal left the father wanting to share his experience with other parents. This is for all the parents, godparents, grandparents. If your child is playing with the bottle lid, please be very careful because it can suffocate them. Pediatrician Dr. Daphna Adut joins us to explain if this is true, that's a little bit scary. Yeah. It's definitely scary. When I saw this, I was scared as well, and I'd like to commend that parent for actually taking a video and showing everyone. So what the baby probably did was take this cover, put it around their nose and mouth, and just breathe into it. And so as they were doing that, it caused a seal and a suction effect, and they could mm. stop breathing and unable to breathe, so it's pretty dangerous. So what are parents to do with the lid? You really don't need the lid to to feed your child with the bottle. So just put the lid away and probably, you know, kids like to put things in their mouths. That's how they experience things if they're exploring their environment. So if they're in that teething stage, you can offer them teething toys. You can offer them, even if you don't have a toy, like a wet towel in the fridge, let them munch on that, things like that. But you definitely want to keep these plastic things away from them. Plastic bags, balloons, those are all choking hazards. And something Good else stuff. to remember just in general, parents and caregivers should always know what to do if a child is choking or know about CPR. So just make sure you're taking classes and you know what to do if you are in that situation, and I hope you never are. Right, absolutely. Yeah. The Doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.